Hello, dear friends! Today we will get acquainted with the helmet of the Danish armed forces using which they made the Second World War. This helmet, to put it mildly, surprises by its shape. When this helmet was tested, there were numerous complaints from the Danish military, but first things first. Do not forget to leave a like to this video. And of course, tell us your opinion in the comments. Let's get started. In 1919, the Danish generals decided to create their own Danish steel helmet. But the final decision was not taken until 1922. In 1923, the first sample of the helmet was created, which was made of 1 mm thick steel. The back of the helmet had two ventilation holes. And also, there was an oblong hole at the edge of the back of the helmet. It could be used to attach the helmet to a backpack for convenience on the move. This model was officially called Helmet of the Year 1923 or M1923. A new design for this helmet was introduced on the 23rd of May 1924. The new helmet had more elongated edges that were not as wide as edges on the first version of the helmet. Later, it was decided to increase the thickness of the helmet to 1.2 mm to increase its strength. The weight of the helmet was 1300 grams. The helmet manufacturer received its first order for production of these helmets on the 20th of December 1924. And only in September 1925 the first helmets were ready for supply to the army. These helmets had brass plates attached to the balaclava where the manufacturer's name and helmet serial number were written. In December 1926 the production of these helmets was stopped. This was due primarily to a series of unflattering reports on the use of the helmets, received from the army units involved in its testing. A number of problems with the helmet were noticed. First and foremost, the army complained about poor audibility when using this helmet. The helmet also fell easily from the head. The chin strap was too narrow and got easily unbuckled. Moreover, the frontal emblem often fell off due to unreliable fastening. There were also complaints of frozen ears, headaches and increased noise in windy weather. Due to these complaints, the design of the helmet was revised again. Eventually, 12,600 helmets were sent to army warehouses. In August 1926, an updated helmet design for this model was introduced. The ventilation holes were removed from the surface of the helmet. And a new, more comfortable balaclava design was created. All helmets models of this type were based on the final design of 1926. The chin strap was made of leather and consisted of two parts. In the first samples of the helmet, the parts of the chin strap were fastened together with a hook, which was later replaced by a clasp. The color choice of the helmet also took quite a long time. The first version of the helmet color scheme caused a lot of criticism from the military. First of all, because of its brightness. In September 1928, several experiments took place, the purpose of which was to choose a new color for helmets. This led to the decision to use dark brown oil-based paint with rust-preventing components. Throughout 1929, tests with various paints were conducted, but the aforementioned paint was still found to be better. Helmets that were painted with this paint, however, were noted to have a glossy surface, making the soldier in this helmet too conspicuous on the battlefield. And in the rain, the helmet became excessively shiny. In 1937, another experiment took place. It was decided to add sand to the paint. This idea turned out to be good. And in December 1938, a decision was made to paint all new helmets with brown paint mixed with sand. However, it is also known about the use of green paint when helmets were painted. To avoid sharp corners, the edges of the helmet were painted without any sand. Helmets painted in this way are known as model 1923-38. The Danish helmets had the 1923 army frontal emblem affixed to the front. The coat of arms of the Kingdom of Denmark was depicted on this emblem. It was attached to all army helmets so that they could be easily distinguished from foreign helmets. It seems rather funny now, as Danish helmets were not like any other helmets, but at that time it was important. In addition to the army, M1923 helmet was also used by police, firefighters and naval forces. During the German occupation between 1940 and 1945, the helmet was used by the civil defense forces and other formations, but as a rule the frontal emblem was removed. The civilian version was made of lighter steel. The lining and chin strap was made of lower quality than the military version. 
Also, in 1942, the Danish Navy received 4,000 helmets from the army. They had a frontal emblem, the symbol of the Navy, an anchor topped with a royal crown. Since 1945, the Navy emblem was used as a decal. Danish helmets were used only domestically, they were not supplied abroad. That's why we never learned about how to protect soldiers in combat conditions. For obvious reasons. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please support it with a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Bye, everyone.